for someone who has never been to a rainforest, it's like when I went to New York for the first time. You just keep looking at everything around you and it takes your breath away. And it's a different jungle. <laughs> but it's just like that kind of feeling. Every plant in the forest will have a different shape of leaf or have a different shade of green, or it's a vine, or it's a moss, or it's a fern, it's a lichen. And you start looking around and their variety is so vast. And just being there makes you feel so small. Perhaps that's one of the things I feel when I go to the forest. How small we are. Because that's when you realize that there is a reason why we are here. As a guide, I had been learning so much about my country. I found a company that fits to what I love to do. Nature, teaching, conservation, education. I mean, the philosophy about nature, but also the kind of guests they cater. You know, we have the people that really want to make a difference. And that's what we need now. We need people that want to make a difference. I don't think you can find that with many companies in the world. They are more about the money. Actually, that's what NatHab does. Set the footsteps for other true companies to follow. For many of our guests, they might have only one opportunity to see Costa Rica, and this is it. They will see it through me. And if I have to go the extra mile to make the difference, I have to. Not only because they are, they are visiting and they are giving us the opportunity, in Costa Rica to, to have a great, great environment, but also they help, they're helping us with our economy. And I always tell them that many times when they travel to Costa Rica, they don't understand or they might not even know how important that, that vacation is. Because when they pay for these trips, the money is split in so many hands and it, is, it, it provides jobs to so many people. So that's what that's making a big difference. And you know, as a guide, I have seen Costa Rica the way not a lot of Costa Ricans see it. Because I not only see the beauty of my country, but I see the beauty of my people. Every time I have taken a trip since I started, our guests love what they see. But they, I think what they, they love the most is the people. You know, going to any country that is not your home and not being welcome or not feeling welcome is not pleasant at all. So when you go to a country and people are so nice by nature there's a, there's nothing you can go wrong i mean even if you have the best weather you don't see but you still feel welcome that makes a whole difference so so I, I i think the first thing they they love more than anything else is the way costa ricans are but then like many of my guests says jimmy i have never seen so many animals in one single trip so i think that's two things that people really see the quality of the people and how much we have done for the environment to protect this this wildlife that is so so active and abundant now in Costa Rica. The whole world expands while you travel. <laughs> you are more tolerant about everything and you are more thankful of what you have at home. I have seen beautiful places, I have seen beautiful countries, but I always love to come back home because this is what I have and this is what I have learned to love.